read aloud is in honor of Earth Day. Earth Day is celebrated on April 22nd, but it is important for us to remember that every day should be Earth Day because it is super, super important for us to have the courage to stand up and protect our Mother Earth who gives us life and to continue to have that reciprocal relationship with our planet. This read aloud is titled, We Are Water Protectors, and it is written by Carol Lindstrom and illustrated by Micaela Godet. This is a beautiful story. It is inspired by indigenous led movements throughout North America to protect one of Earth's most precious resources, water. Water gives us life. So it is important for us to protect the water and by protecting water, we're protecting mother earth. Let's go ahead and let's get started with we are water protectors. Water is the first medicine, Nokomis told me. We come from water. It nourished us inside our mother's body as it nourishes us here on Mother Earth. Water is sacred, she said. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. The river's rhythm runs through my veins, runs through my people's veins. My people talk of a black snake that will destroy the land. Spoil the water, poison plants and animals, wreck everything in its path. When my people first spoke of the black snake, they foretold that it wouldn't come for many, many years. Now the black snake is here. Its venom burns the land courses through the water, making it unfit to drink. Take courage. I must keep the black snake away from my village's water. I must rally my people together. To stand for the water, to stand for the land, to stand as one against the black snake. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. It will not be easy. We fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. The winged ones, the crawling ones. The four-legged ones, the two-legged, the plants, trees, rivers, lakes. The earth, we are all related. Tears like waterfalls stream down, tracks down my face, tracks down my people's faces. Water has its own spirit, Nukomis told me. Water is alive. Water remembers our ancestors who came before us, she said. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. We are stewards of the earth. Our spirits have not been broken. We are water protectors. We stand. The black snake is in for the fight of its life. And that's the end of the story. So scholars, it's really important for us to make sure that we always have the courage to stand up for what we believe in. And since it's Earth Day this week, we're going to be uh, discussing the ways in which we can have the courage to protect Mother Earth, whether it be protecting our water resources or protecting our planet in general. So let's take these lessons from indigenous cultures of being resistant against any type of things that are damaging and harming our earth. Let's take these lessons from indigenous communities about 
digging into our past and our ancestors who have also fought and had the courage to protect our earth and our resources. So this week, what your task is going to be for writing is to write an opinion piece about why you think it is important for us to protect Mother Earth. Go ahead and check out your assignment on Google Classroom. I'm super excited to read what you come up with. And I really, really hope that you enjoyed this story.